So how do we work out the standard deviation of a data set? So say I've done a data run and I've got four measurements, 2.25, 2.20, 2.27 and 2.25 and I want to convert these into a measurement. These are my five measurements or four measurements, these are all on seconds. So I want to convert these into a number and the uncertainty. So First of all, we'll deal with using an FX82 family of calculators. This one's quite old, but they still tend to do the same thing. First things first, is we make sure we change the mode into stats mode, SD mode. Then we clear the stats memory, SCL memory, because and then with the FX82, what we do is we then go punch the data in 2.25 and then we hit the memory plus button. Then we, and modern ones will say n equals 1. That says it's got one piece of data in there. 2.2, memory plus. 2.27, memory plus. And 2.25, memory plus. So now our data is actually in there. My calculator is quite simple. <clears throat> I just define the uh, find the average. I just go sh shift one, but you'll probably have to go shift two. Oh, sorry, shift two, and it will say one bar or something under like that, and then it will give you a menu, and the menu x bar is going to give you the average two point two four two five plus minus and then we want the third one so if we go again into the shift 2 1 var we then go x be n minus 1 or we take the third option the third option and that's going to give you our standard deviation plus or minus 0 0.02986 now when we actually write the standard deviation what we do is we always give the standard deviation to one significant figure. That's the convention. The errors or uncertainties are given to one significant figure. That's going to be 0.03. But you'll notice that this is at the second decimal point. There's more decimal points here than there are here. So there's no point in writing this extra stuff here, this 0.25. This 25 here because that's after that decimal point there. So in this case what we'd write down is we'd write down 2.24 plus or minus 0.03. And don't forget once you've finished all your stats modes, if you want to do another data number of series then you would clear the stats clear. If you wanted to go back to normal mode, don't forget to turn your computer back to ordinary mode. But say you have one of these flash um, graphing calculators. So what you'll do in that graph, uh, graphing calculator, like an FX, or what other, 950 or 75 or whatever, is you'll set up, you'll go to a list. And then you'll enter in your data. One will be 2.25, two will be 2.20, dot, 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 dot. And then when you get down to the bottom, those little buttons there above the screen, one of them should say calc. And when you when you hit the calc button, then you'll get another row of buttons that pop up, and one of them should say one var. And when you hit that, then you'll get a whole lot of data, and then you'll get an X bar, then you'll get an S, then you'll get sigma. And the X bar will be average 2.2425. Um, this will be blah blah. And this one will be 0 0.02986. So that's how you're going to get your standard deviation using a graphing um, case a graphing calculator. Again, don't forget to clear the list when you're finished and stick everything back.